me flip this script. Because your language is too hot. Okay. Time Not gonna be good. <laughs> this game's better than in the pub. Oh, uh, you're so funny. You're so funny. Oh, he's like, oh, jeez, I almost forgot to laugh. Incredible. Okay. We're off. Out the way. Shay, that's done. Afraid I might hit those guys. Yeah. Miles ahead of those puzzlers. Drifty! What do you think of golfing? I thought it was shit, but now I kinda like it. Can we make it? Like, just wanted to play it safe and then rode a safe line and then the, the rut just gave way off the top of the burn. Bike rolled down and so, it should be. I try to get up and keep going, but yeah, it just puts a lot more pressure on Valder Soul, but it makes it exciting for TV, a bit more pressure for us. So you are 42 plus 250 plus 100 plus 230 plus 30. 932. And then second place, so 22 plus 162 plus 250 plus 180 plus 250. 899. What did I say the first one was? 932. So 33 points. Disappointing. Go from like a 170 point lead to 33. Spit shit. Uh, today we'll be mostly unpacking boxes. We flew back from Monsonan, we had all the spares and stuff for, the, for Australia and uh, Val de Sol. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 boxes are the boxes that are got all the spare parts and the bikes and stuff for the rest of the year. It's training bikes as well, you know, we have to have a bike in, in Monsonan for the guys to take to the top of the hill and warm up on. Plus we got their three downhill bikes, so that's six boxes. Uh, tires, set of wheels on the bike, and then a set of spare wheels with exactly the same tires and the same setup, and then another spare set of wheels with mud tires on them. Spare set of handlebars and like spare frames. You just don't know what's gonna get damaged in the shipping, and that's a, that's, that's a brand new swing arm. Brakes and brake rotors, spare set of rims as well, spare set of handlebars. So they're gonna have to go in the van. Greg's coming in, he's been uh, training down in Italy. Hey Marshy, hey. how are you? Hey, well cool bro. Gonna try and get a bike all sorted out with new bars and brakes for him. And if the, if the brakes are too far down, then you're kind of over the front end. But then too high, you off the back. So we normally, once we have it set, we like, you can dismantle the whole bike to put in the bag to travel, except the bars and brakes. They've just got to stay intact. You know, once we've got a bike built up, it's a matter of keeping it like that for as long as you can. When you start running into problems is when you start pulling things apart and putting them back together too many times. Um, when we were at a World Cup, well, Greg probably does about eight runs in total. So we need to be in a pretty good spot when we get there. Like, Morzine's really good in the fact that you can find some really, really rough tracks. Plenty Mainline is so rough and full of braking bumps, it is like a World Cup race track every time you ride it. The tracks just beat the shit out of you. Cut me 
using his handlebars. I did. Did you? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I, uh, but I'm going to check. You're making me doubt myself. Sorry. No, no, that's good. I like that. You're bottoming out everywhere. Right? Yeah. The last one, so that's kind of a step probably too far in the right direction. Yeah, it's like, what yeah. did we, did we check the, the air pressure, didn't we? Put it back to what it was. Marsh and I work super well. It's a good combination. We, we do really good testing together. You know, I trust that my bike's going to be in, in great nick, so I can just focus on trying to race fast and be the best I can be. And I have like 100% faith in Marsh. Yeah, we did Tripods Trail, which is Marshy's backyard trail. Super nice. It's pretty funny riding with Marshy because as soon as it gets steep, he, <laughs> he's got his one leg hanging, so they call him Tripod. Yeah, there's a section of that track with those berms which is unreal and like and yeah, it was fun just trying to get on the inside of the tripod. I quite enjoy just messing around and trying to make stupid passes on Marshy. I like block passing with the tripod. Now that dog was one fast dog and it was impressive to watch him chase PA down and then start loud and take John Lawler down. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ! No, it's good, such a good trail. I'd uh, love to know how much work Marshy put into this trail. I'm sure someone else found this trail and built it, and Marshy's claimed it. You know, maybe it pays tribute to the longevity that I've been in the racing, but you've got to be able to switch off to switch on. So if you always in the zone of racing, you can never really focus and elevate your game. So when I'm not racing, I, well, I train hard, but I, I like to have a good time. <laughs> I'm not a wine connoisseur, but I do like a good wine. I also like a bad wine if it's the only wine. <laughs> We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before, but that you're gonna love hearing. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce we are in Val d'Isol, it's last World Cup of the season and it's a sick track. World Cup finals, yeah the points are pretty tight which I think makes it a bit easier because now you just have to race. There's no point trying to uh, have a safe run or worry about anything, you just have to go all in. So it, it, it takes a bit of pressure off and like mess around now you can just focus on the race and do the best you can. Right now the track is mint and some part a bit sketchy but it's always like the case in Valdez so Greg is on fire. I never saw him like that, just been and just like fucking sick. I'm impressed, really impressed since good to watch. Way too soft, but okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit too darvy. So we go up We just made it pretty aggressive. Yeah, yeah. Go for pressure. Yeah, two. Yeah. Okay. No room for baby steps. Yeah. Wanna be good like, first time. Yeah. Two, two. We don't have time for this. Yeah. Make me. You're not supposed to do it with attitude, you're supposed to do it with love. Sideways. It's going to be amazing. Cool. Oh, thanks, bro. Thanks, Moshi. Didn't have to do too much on bike setup, change the shock and some settings, but bike felt really good. I got up to speed a bit too soon on some of the stuff and wallowed out a bit, but now. 
Yeah, my time run was okay. Nothing great. Made quite a few big mistakes. So I know I need to check it out for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so far it was a good day, I think. Nice, calm, so sort of few runs as possible. Down. You stay, wait for the bikes, bring it down. The Val de Sol course has uh, beaten one of our friends up. Um, Greg's, Greg's been on it all weekend, he's been riding really hard. He just wants that overall and he's pushed his bikes past the limit. We've got an hour to build a new bike to get him ready for qualifying. Greg was coming down on his last run and um, he got high sighted and the bike flew through the air and hit a wooden post, which then it just must have been the right spot and the right force to um, snap the frame. Instantly, Marshy went into action getting a spare frame out and started to put it together. Greg wasn't hurt and so our priority was to get the bike back here as fast as we can. Roughly, Marshy has 35 minutes to do it. We're doing a line that I was coming into this section as I go into the road, front kind of pushed, maybe too much weight or I don't know, and then just flicked to the pole and snapped in half. So one hour before probably it's definitely taken my mind off the race. Maybe that's a good thing. I'm pretty relaxed with everything that's going on and I didn't get hurt, I was, I was fine really. Um, just some bruises, but I'll be ready. It started off I was a bit tense. I don't think I just rode a bit tight, but overall I was pretty happy with it. It's a hard track, and I guess we did have a bit of stress going into that run, so I'm happy. Yeah. Close, close on Aaron, lose a bit of points, um, but now it's, uh, yeah, what, like 23 points in the final. So I need to step things up. Who went and got the pole for you? <laughs> Actually, a lot of people are wanting to see the pole. Team effort of Marsh and PD. Yeah, the pole used to be up on the hill in Val de Sol, and it got in the way of a carbon bike yesterday. I brought it down so we could see what damage was done to the pole, as well as the bike. Yeah, it's a strong pole. It's a heavy pole too, I had to carry it down the hill. So that's his chain ring, that's his frame, that's his tire. Yeah, it's a laminated, three ply, three ply laminated, uh, solid wood post. It's final time here in Val de Sol. Track is running sweet, it's really dusty, really dry. Greg's definitely been more nervous these last few days than he has been at previous races this year. He's fighting for the overall, it's really close to it. Basically whoever wins this afternoon gets the overall. I hope we have a fair race and uh, Greg beats them all.
solid. A couple of mistakes, but I kept going. It's a shitty way to lose, but it happens. You know, we've had quite a lot going on this week. Everything's been thrown at us, and we didn't come out on top. That's it. It's just the way it is. You don't want it to end like that for anyone. You know, he was going for it, and that's what he had to do. So, bummer out the way it turned out, but it's heck of a weekend for sure. It's a bit sad for Greg because. I wish he could stay at least second, but he's third in the overall, so I guess he's not really happy about it. But I think being team overall of the year is just amazing. Yeah, the whole team's obviously been here. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, they've had some good results, and Loris ended up fifth overall. He really pushed hard to get a good result, and he got a great result in the qualies and then backed it up in the final. Finishing fifth overall, it was a great end to the season, and Luca coming on strong in the end of the season as well. Yeah, they, it's just been a, a credible team and the guys have pulled together and we ended up being team of the year. So I, I, it was some time since the Syndicate was number one team in the world. So it's cool that a pretty much new team was able to pull that off. Mm -hmm.